This video refers to the experiment section of the work Learning Robust Task Priorities and Gains for Control of Redundant Robots. The solution of the algorithm is a breadth of round that represents the set of optimal trade-offs between performance and robustness. Robustness is encoded by the distance of the zero moment point from the center of the support polygon, while performance is encoded by the tracking error. We want to minimize both. That's the most high-performing solutions on the learning sequence. Let's see how to select a control configuration from the Pareto front. Let's consider for the moment a squat motion with a straight torso. The most robust solution does not allow the robot to squat down, even though it's transferable to the real robot. The most high-performing solution instead works well in simulation, but when we transfer it onto the real robot, the robot falls. So we have to find solutions that are less high-performing but more robust. We pick this solution, but the robot still falls. This other solution, and the robot still falls. And finally this solution that is a valid trade-off between performance and robustness that can be transferred onto the real robot. Let's call this control configuration C1 and let's now compare it to a hand-tuned solution HD. In the test sequence S1, the difference in the performance is clear. C1 tracks better the height of the center of mass and of the hands, resulting in a better squat motion. In the test sequence S2, the hand-tuned controller fails to find a solution. By changing the soft weight priorities, we can get a performance in simulation that is similar, however, when we transfer it onto the real robot, the robot falls. In the test sequence set 3, the hand-tuned controller fails to find a solution even after a retuning of the soft weight of the center of mass task. So, let's consider the same task priorities for both the hand-tuned controller and our learned control configuration. And let's see if optimizing only the converger gains is important. In this experiment, indeed, we can see that the convergence gains are crucial for the performance of the task. Let's now consider a different controller that tracks more trajectories. Let's learn a control configuration that allows us to teleoperate the robot. With the learned control configuration, we can perform several tasks. Our optimization method can be applied on any robot platform. We also perform the optimization on a simulated common robot on a short training sequence consisting of a squad motion. We report here the most high-performing solutions in each generation, since we do not have the real robot. <laughs> 